North Korea's military has threatened to blow up balloons that South Korean activists plan to send over the highly militarized border. The balloons will be carrying 10,000 DVDs of the film The Interview, a comedy about a CIA plot to assassinate the North Korean leader. Half a million propaganda leaflets will also be sent across the border on or around March 26th. The launch will mark the five-year anniversary of the sinking of a South Korean warship in 2010 by the North, with a loss of 46 sailors. The North, however, sees things very differently. To them, the launch would constitute the gravest politically motivated provocation against the North and a de facto declaration of war. That's according to Pyongyang's official Korean Central News Agency. The South's military said that it would retaliate if the North opens any fire against its territory. So, Jose, mm -hmm. we cannot forget that this is all over a bunch of DVDs that activists want to send into the country. We have North Korea, we'll take that as a direct attack on them. The South says, well, if you shoot them down, if you shoot any missiles at us, we'll go back and we'll shoot at you. And then in response to that, North Korea warns that any challenge to its just physical countermeasures will trigger merciless retaliatory strikes. So if you go back against what I did, then we're gonna go back against you, and then we're gonna see a whole war over a movie that a lot of people didn't even find that great. I mean, I think it's, it's important to see that North Korea has been working this rhetoric and this, this narrative of infinite military power. Uh, against everybody. But at the end of the day, it's not clear if they're willing to act on it. So it seems like it's all a game of like, oh, well, I'm bigger than you and I have more guns than you. So if you do this, I'm going to get angry and I'm going to point my guns to you. And it's starting to get old, especially because we're talking about a average stoner comedy. That's the thing, though. But this is what makes it so interesting, though. This is like a few days after the North Korean ambassador to the UK was talking to the Associated Press and he said, we have nuclear weapons, they are ready to go, we are ready to push that button if we're ever threatened. And then something like this comes along, some activists wanna send some leaflets and some DVDs to piss some people off and they're talking about that as a direct provocation and a de facto declaration of war. So it's like, okay, what's scarier here? The fact that they're saying they have missiles or what they're ready to fight over, some DVDs. But do you think that they really have the nuclear weapons? That's what I'm trying to figure out. Do you think they're just talking or? I mean, it's, it's hard to know. It's a, it's a hard question to answer like that. But the thing is, um, they sure do a lot of talking mm. and even their testing has not proven to be as effective as they claim that they will be. And like you say, the fact that they're fighting over balloons with movies and propaganda, it takes away from, from their other um, you know, a, a statement. If they right. go and they go to the UK and they say, we have the bomb, but then they come back home and they're like, oh, we're going to shoot those little balloons that are going to cross. So it's really hard to take them seriously on their bigger threats if they're also taking part on these min minor things. Yeah, that's a, that's a really good point. Um, we want to know what you guys have to say about this. Let us know. What do you guys think that these activists are really aiming to achieve by sending these balloons over? Uh, please comment and subscribe to the Lip TV for more.